one big and major thing that we've done much differently than in the past is now we have this Yap News. How did this all begin? So we started Yap News in my classroom uh, and it started with just a couple of really cool videos and it turned into a weekly series so we're so happy to be here and we're so happy to cover this awesome event. It is an awesome event. I was able to meet a few of your reporters. What advice do you give these reporters? You know, my reporters are awesome and I'm so proud of the way that they've blossomed and the way that they've become confident in their speaking and in their presentation skills. Um, and then we also have a couple of really great people here behind the camera. These are students at the Young Adult Program who uh, are learning all the technologies, they're learning how to use microphones and lights and everything, so it's really cool. And that's very important. It takes a whole team, right? It's a village, yes. <laughs> what advice do you want to give to our graduates and our students today? Uh, follow your dreams. I think that, uh, you know, you can do anything you want to do as long as you have a vision and as long as you work for that. And so uh, it's been so much fun to bring a lot of these visions to life through video and I hope that that carries on into their, into their real lives after yet. My name is Stefan Torres Esquerra. I'm a special education teacher and I'm reporting live from the Young Adult Program. Very good. And I'm Melinda Mesa reporting live from the Stockton School District here at the Young Adult Program and I'm excited to be part of your newscast. Thank you Thank for having you so me. Much. Thank